hidden gem metaverse altcoin. This is the first project in the world to scan people and physical objects into the metaverse. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of the Beam Pod is sponsored by KyberSwap. KyberSwap is a DEX and DEX aggregator, which is built to facilitate all your DeFi needs in one single platform. Fast, cheap, and safe. User experience is KyberSwap's sole focus to make everyone's life better in DeFi. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. This is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be revealing a hidden gem metaverse altcoin. This honestly has to be one of the most slept on projects in the world right now. Definitely. Part of it has been, you know, Render has really stolen a lot of the attention right now with his Apple integration, but... There's so many people right now sleeping on the metaverse. You know, we've talked about this in previous past episodes. And it's the fact that everything is cyclical. You always see like, you see big spikes, comes back down, money flows into the next narrative, whether it's NFTs or whether it's DeFi, et cetera. Metaverse had a huge spike when Facebook changed its name to Meta. And right now there's a ton of catalysts occurring. We have um, the Chinese government backed metaverse that, Nobody's talking about. Yeah, that's very under the radar. Which is super under the radar. We have MetaQuest Pro pushing their, uh, sorry, Meta pushing their MetaQuest Pro product Mm -hmm. just in time that Apple is now making a massive announcement on June 5th as it pertains to their VR headset. So we're watching all the Metaverse projects out there right now. And this is one that hasn't really seen too much attention as of late. For sure. So it's all about crypto narratives. It's all about hype. And I think this fits into a really nice play. And, you know, as we do a deep dive into this altcoin throughout the episode, you'll understand not only do they have some real world partnerships with some interesting and big companies, they have a very interesting real world use case, which you alluded to the fact that they actually scan things into the metaverse with some pretty insane tech. Combined with that, they have a very small market cap and are not talked about at all, which is why we've dubbed it a hidden gem. It's, it's very similar to, to Gamium in many ways, which if you've been following the show, if you've been following us on socials, you now know about Gamium and why we think it's one of the sleeping giants of the metaverse sector. But this project is similar to Gamium in the fact that it's in the metaverse sector, the industry. It's not a metaverse itself. Mm. It's more of what we would refer to as the tools needed to build metaverses. Yeah. And I think that's a really interesting thing because as you know, at Beanstalk here, we think otherverse is going to be the best metaverse in the world. Yeah. Without without question. Yeah. So, you know, we're not going to sit here and talk about Decentraland and Sandbox and all that kind of crap. But what we are focusing on is the tools needed to build metaverses because we think there still is a use case for these along with the otherverse, right? Yeah. So the reason I think that this project has been forgotten about is because they're currently going through a rebranding phase right now. Previously, they were really focused on gaming. Like, but that's very segregated like that. It cuts off so much of the market. And we know that the metaverse is so much more than that. It's going to be gaming. It's going to be advertising. It's going to be everything to do with the metaverse. E-commerce, you name it. So you can't just be focused on gaming. And they, they realize that. So they are making this bit of a rebrand. And what gets me excited is the fact that I know they're going to be, you know, I've read some articles on them. And they're going to have a massive, massive marketing push in September. So I want to position myself before that time comes when all of a sudden, everybody's talking about this project. That's right. Because this is the gateway into the metaverse. This uses ultra HD meta scanning technology to bring physical items into the metaverse. Like, this is pretty high tech stuff, man. For sure. So, the project we're talking about is called Meta Hero. And, you know, you may not have heard a lot of people talking about this lately for the, for the reason that Josh said, but this is a very legitimate company. Um, You know, scanning people and scanning objects and putting them into the metaverse is going to be a massive, massive industry. And they've partnered with some big companies, some real technology providers to make this happen. So the tech is by a company called Wolf Group. So they do 3D printing, scanning, et cetera. They're going to be utilizing the Hero token for all the scans. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to pay for it and all that stuff. And there's going to be a lot of businesses who are going to be transitioning from their boring web web to two, two, 2D images on the screen, and they're going to want more immersive physical items that you can kind of see, right, online. And you have to realize that this Wolf Group is actually 
pretty decent company. Yep. They are doing 3D printing and rendering for companies like Disney, Shell, Toyota, Ferrari, Volkswagen, and Heineken. So if this company, Wolf Group, has started Hero and or sorry, Meta Hero, and then these companies that they already work with want to start rendering and bringing in physical objects into these areas, who are they going to be utilizing? Yep. Some other random company or the ones they're already working with? Exactly. And through this Wolf Group company, they've uh, exclusively partnered with Sony, who is the technology provider to actually using the hardware to do these scans. You know, scanning people and objects into the metaverse, it has to be the highest of quality. And Sony is their partner with that. Let me say that again. Sony, right? So this is a big company. And going back to what you just talked about, about uh, the hero token, I like this because certain projects, you know, the use case of the token, we always talk about utility of the token. Is there a use case? Some of the projects we talk about honestly don't have a use case for that token. Yeah. Uh, but with MetaHero, it's a very simple, very easy to understand use case. You need the hero token to use the services. <laughs> yeah. Right? Simple. It's simple. Like I went on the website, I checked it out. That you can you can scan yourself into the metaverse right now. Mm. It costs about twenty-five to thirty dollars in hero tokens right now. It's not available in the city that I live in. It's available in some bigger cities around the world. It would be kind of a cool thing to do. I wish it was available in our area because I think it would be kind of cool for us to do and make a video about it. Yeah. I, and think about that. Like that's just twenty-five bucks for one of us or our dog or whatever we want to bring in. But what happens when an entire brand or designer wants to do their red purse, their purple purse, their yellow purse, you know, and then they have like the men's side of things and they want to bring in all those items. Like it's going to be scanning for days. You can scan like entire environments. You can, if you want to put your office into the metaverse, you can bring these scanners in or this room that we're filming and you can scan the entire environment and put it into the metaverse, right? You can scan anything. Yeah. So I, I like that can't be understated. It can't be understated at all. So I think, so beta, they have a beta release of physical scans in August. So what this is going to allow you to do is they, they scan yourself. So you'll have your model. And you know when you do online shopping, it's, you, you never really buy things because you're like, I, I don't know if it's going to fit me properly and all, the, all this stuff. What you can do is you can have your physical, uh, so your digital self, and then you can actually put the clothes on and see how it actually looks on you. Yeah. And it's going to be exactly you and the clothes. So you would be like, okay, I want to buy it now. So this is going to actually lead to so many more sales for businesses as well. That's why I mentioned e-commerce at the top of the show, because I think this is one of the most interesting use cases for Meta Heroes technology there is. E-commerce. As you said, you know, online shopping is tough. And how many times do you buy something and you get it and oh, it doesn't just fit right? How is this going to look on me? Oh, what about the green one? Should I go with green, red? What about the color of my skin? Blah, 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 blah. But with this... You can try it on physically. You're going to scan yourself into the metaverse. It's going to have your details pretty down to the T. And you can start trying things on in the metaverse online shopping. And that is, as far-fetched as that sounds, that will be the future of online shopping. It might not be next year. No. It might not be the year after. But this is where the way things are going. It's all going 3D online AI in the metaverse. So I think meta that is a really, really interesting use case that I love. Yeah. So the first officially booked scan takes place in September. You know, it's June now or late May, and that's only a few months away. So we're going to start to see a little bit more hype around this as they've done this rebrand. Mm. Um, I, I also read that they have some e and gaming partners under NDA, non-disclosure agreements. So I'm curious to see what happens if, if and when they announce a big partnership. Well, you, you can scan yourself into the game. Yeah. You know, like as, as what if maybe it's GTA, GTA 6. You know, you know, normally, you know, you're playing Madden and you build your own player yeah. and you're trying to build your player to look like you and you're like, this guy does look nothing like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can scan yourself using Meta Hero into the video game, not just the metaverse, into games. So I think, you know, the use cases and another really interesting use case that I saw while we're on the topic of use cases is healthcare. So this, th this was from their website. It's about um, visualizing training programs. So, you know, it's certain things you're doing, whether True. it's physio or whatever, it's hard to do. It's hard to visualize yourself doing it. But if you know, you're scanning, you know, maybe you're, you're um, doing a, a virtual, a remote healthcare, a remote training session, or you're talking to a metaverse doctor, which is another thing we've talked about. Yeah. So if you're there and you can see the training and all the different things you're doing, it's you, it makes it a lot easier for them to do at home. Right. So it's just another interesting use case about having yourself in the metaverse. Yeah. I mean, look, I can see, I personally see the, the utility of the token. I see the UK use cases moving forward. I'm really excited for the marketing campaign that I know is going to hit in September. Mm. 
I'm excited for when they eventually release the partners who are uh, under NDA. I see what happens with projects when these announcements are made. And the train only leaves once, man. And I don't want to be on the sidelines when a big name hits. I also need to mention is um, they raise a decent amount of money, too, in their $10 million in their seed round, another $8 million during their ICO. So clearly there's some interest here. Yeah, for sure. And I think the timing is right with this episode, as you said before, the marketing comes in. And and one cool thing about that Wolf Digital World company, right? So Wolf Digital World has built a marketplace for everything 3D related. So, you know, we always talk about it. So first of all, Meta, Meta Hero and the 3D things that you scan into the metaverse will have a natural integration with NFTs. So if you scan, you know, your one of one World War II replica rifle, scan it into the metaverse, it's on the blockchain as an NFT, you can then buy and sell it. That's so Wolf Digital World has built this marketplace, which is for everything, collectibles, jewelry, clothing, vehicles, everything collectible that's going to be scanned in using MetaHero naturally integrates with the Wolf Digital Marketplace, which is everything for 3Ds, for building up your avatar and building up your, your Metaverse NFT collection. So I think that, and then when you look at the partners that Wolf Digital, who you already mentioned, Disney, Ferrari, Toyota, Heineken, this is a whole digital scanning Metaverse world. And the key to it, in my opinion, is MetaHero. Absolutely. Look, this is a project with a fully diluted, $32 million market cap. It is bottomed the fuck out. Yeah. Like that chart, that's a chart I like to buy. Yeah. Personally. Um, because it received a ton of hype. That's back when, okay, yeah. Look at the chart now on coin market cap. The time where it previously ran was when Meta changed its name. Oh, sorry. Facebook changed its name yeah, to Meta. For sure. Because it's in the metaverse narrative, it right? Did a, it did something like a 30X or something like that. It was, right. it was hot, hot news. It's bottomed out. People forgot about it. The rebranding's happening. Yeah. The the metaverse narrative is just around the corner. So... You know, it kind of reminds me of, um, you know, I'm not sure if a lot of you uh, viewers watch our stock episodes as well. There's a company we've talked about a few times, Matterport. Right. 3D scanning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we talked about them scanning offices for the metaverse. This is like the Web 2 or Web 3 version of Matterport at a fraction of the market cap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. So Matterport is a company that offers these 3D scanning solutions for for real estate, virtual tours. Um, You know, it's on the NASDAQ. I think it's a a big company. Matterport has a market cap of 800 million. Right. So you can do the math there. It's a lot. Yeah, 20X or 30X or whatever. Yeah, so. It too has a chart that looks like this could be a sleeping uh, giant stock by the way yeah yeah for sure but so i just wanted to make that a comparison just to show how how tiny of a market cap something yeah. like meta hero is which is working with these big partners already and you know it just as I, I always say it all goes back to narrative this is a metaverse narrative hype play but it, it's what you're going to see and what you do see when narratives come along is is people shilling all kinds of crap companies Anything with the word metaverse or meta in it, it's actually not even a real company. It's a website they made yesterday with no substance, has no use case, no partners, anonymous team. What we like to do on this show is get in before the narratives hit, one, and two, find real projects with real teams, real founders, real partners, real token use cases that are actually projects of substance destined to lead the narratives before the narratives get hot. That's why we talked about Gamium. That's why we talked about Render. And that's why today we're talking about MetaHero. And all the other AI projects we talked about back in December uh, before yep. they all ripped 10 to 20x as well. Exactly. Hey, MetaHero also has their own mobile app that they're developing and, and bringing out. So you can, we will be able to right. do, do some of the scanning, view your scans, pay for your scans, access the NFT marketplace, all that kind of stuff via the mobile app, which just actually makes it a lot easier for people to get into the MetaHero ecosystem. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Talk about teams that are building, eh? Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool project. And look, I think the time is perfect right now. The chart is bottomed out. Metaverse narrative is coming back. Meta Hero is a fucking hitting gem. Absolutely. Hey, yeah. make sure you guys tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Thank you.